Adam, first of all, how have the first few months of life at Blackburn Rovers been for you? Yeah, been really good, thanks. Um, it's always difficult, bit of adjustment coming into a coming into a new role with a new club. So, um, but no, it's been really enjoyable so far. Um, everybody's been really welcoming and hospitable. So um, for me, yeah, it was always about coming in the first couple of months, just having a little look around, um, getting to know people in the club, the departments, how it functions. Um, and just doing a little bit of a, an audit, I suppose, initially. Um, you know, I'm, not, I'm now three months in, so it, it's given me a good opportunity to, to survey things and now, uh, you know, hopefully start to put some things, a little bit, embed some things more in place. Give us a little bit of an idea about your role at the football club then. Um, it's kind of hints from what you said there that it's quite wide ranging. Yeah, it's a wide ranging role. Um, being able to sort of dip in and out of lots of different departments is obviously key based on my background um, you know overseeing the medical sports science departments um, obviously with the background that I have but as well as from a from a coach education point of view and affecting the academy um, trying to put in place a methodology to bring the players through uh, and build on the good work that's already been done in the club over the over a, a few years now um, so for me yeah it's it's dipping in and out of everything really and looking at the from the data science perspectives um, and, and liaising with the other departments to, to try and ensure that I can bring a lot of my knowledge and experience to, to move things forward. What intrigued you sort of about the operational side of football and football clubs then? Um, I think I think a little bit obviously you know having a, a very average playing <laughs> playing career when I was a lot younger um, sort of understanding what it what it felt to go through that sort of process um, but I'd always been intrigued in the in the physical and the development and the, the st statistics around around the game and, and what that looked like from a coaching point of view and and how embedding that within a within a club strategy has been something that's always been really interesting for me. So um, yeah, the opportunity to to look at the operational side of things and 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 really bring it didn't matter whether it was a discussion from a tactical point of view with a coaching staff or methodology point of view. Um, from a performance point of view or even a medical point of view, it, it sort of lent itself really to the to the development processes and the different roles that I've held within the game across various different levels over the years. So, um, yeah, you know, embedding a, a structure and a strategy that, that I believe in is, is something that was really, really powerful. Does that come from the academy up then and from what you know of this football club sort of how important is the academy to this club has it been and has it continued to be yeah i was very lucky that when the facility got built down down the road actually um you know i was still playing at the time at wrexham and and we were one of the first teams to visit um to play actually down there in the academy so i i've always it's been a club that i've always followed obviously um you know pretty local to here really it's only an hour and a bit from where i'm from where i grew up so um so yeah the club's very famous and very well known for the academy structure that they they've had in place here and the player pathway that they've that they've developed over the years so um you know it was an academy that that i was fortunate enough to come and coach against at celtic um all those years ago and obviously with rex and when i started coaching as well so um you know it's a club that's certainly versed well versed in in player development and and hopefully we can we can embed some some new processes in place to to see a few more players coming through that methodology you've spoken about how important that that's across the football club uh, well. yeah yeah i think it, it's fundamental really um i was very lucky the last couple of months before i joined actually to work with a company called double pass who were involved in the triple p structure uh, the same development process within the bundesliga as well as various other federations around the world so i was very lucky to be involved in in that process and see how things have evolved in, in the sort of strategy within a club environment. And that was really, really interesting to see that and be part of that in terms of the development processes that we put in place. So, um, you know, the opportunity to, to be able to do it here is was something that was a real strong pull for me. Um, but again, you know, aligning the, the strategy within the club is obviously fundamental to, to one of the reasons that I've come in. Um, and when I say aligning the strategy, I mean that from, from all the different departments. So. I think by doing that, we have this sort of bottom-up approach where um, you know we're able to really strategically align things from a from a football business point of view as well as a, a football performance point of view. You see that there are some really good experiences and, and knowledge within that sort of senior leadership team within the football club. 
Yeah, absolutely. The senior leadership group is, uh, has got different uh, attributes from different people with different backgrounds as well as different um, experiences within the game. So, so yeah, the opportunity to be able to bring uh, my experience, knowledge and expertise into that group is, is something that I'm, I'm excited to see hopefully embed itself for the for the longer term benefit. I could I just ask you a little bit about the, the, the transfer window um, and the process because I believe you've got a bit to do with you keeping joining the football club so how uh, did that yeah. all come about and work? Yeah no it's obviously my experiences of working around the world have um, can have their benefits at times um, but obviously you know coming hard, when I joined the club it was part way through the through the transfer window so there was already processes in place and, and, and everybody had their own opinions on, on, on what was being done. So for me, it was just trying to support the processes where I could be, or where I could, shall I say. Um, but it was just about trying to get different opinions on, on players that were that were in the system and being looked at. And um, one of them was, was obviously was the, was the Japanese player because um, a friend of mine's a manager of Yokohama Marinos over there. And, um, it was interesting. It's it's a market that's that's really interesting based on the fact that uh, I was up in Scotland for a period, and you know w when we coached against uh, Celtic with Postecoglou and he had the, the the Japanese lads. So you know you look at the, the the type of characteristics of 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 those types of players, and um, we'd had a good experience previously with with a player called Nakamura in, in Celtic as well at the same time. So. For me, I know John had a really good experience as well previously with a, with a Japanese player in Birmingham. So when that player got flagged up, then the idea was um, to dive a little bit deeper. The feedback from him was was exceptionally good based on what he'd done so far over there and, and the opportunity to see if it was if it was possible. Um, and the, like I said, the feedback in terms of the physicality of what he offers as a player and um, it seemed to be a, a good opportunity to, to to bring him in. Yuki kind of proves it is a global game now, isn't no, it very much? It really is. I think uh, when you're looking in markets that everybody else is looking in, it can be quite difficult. Um, the challenge is when you're competing with teams with a, with significantly bigger budgets, I think you need to be a little bit smarter, a little bit clever in terms of the way that you recruit. Um, and, and that was where I think, you know, the, the people involved in the leadership group, you know, were able to come together from identifying the, you know, the financial side of things, but more importantly, the, the player himself in terms of the types of characteristics that, that the manager wanted in the, in the club and, and being able to sort of align them a little bit is, is obviously the key in terms of moving the club forward. What are the sort of goals or plans in the short, medium and, and, and long term sort of within your role and how do you assess them? I'm still settling into the club really and obviously I've got aspirations in terms of um, how we'd like things to be developed from, from, you know, from the under nines right the way through to the senior team over a, over a period of time. I think it's, it's one of the challenges um, that everybody faces in the game really in terms of you know, marrying up that, that longer term development process of the club with the with the need to, to support the management in terms of them gaining results to be able to move the club forward for the longer term so it's it's a balancing act really um, in terms of where the club is at the moment the club you know, obviously the team started very very well um, with uh, with John uh, Matt and Keith you know they've had some really positive results and and um, and the players have been been superb with their application from what I've seen so far so um, so yeah, obviously, you know, making sure that expectations within the club are, um, are stable and, and, and realistic is probably the key. Um, so for me, however I can support the management team, that's, that's fundamental in the short term. Um, and then obviously having an eye on the medium and long term in terms of the development processes, the academy strategy and the, and the different departments coming through the club is, is something that's, uh, you know, will be challenging over a period of time, but it's something that I'm really excited to do.